Did you know that there are federal government jobs all over the world? Would you like to work from a different country? Would you like to travel overseas and work for the government? Let's talk about it. When people think about working for the federal government, they think about working in Washington, D.C., or cities like Philadelphia, New York City, San Francisco. But there are actually federal government jobs, thousands of them, all over the world, in different countries. And you can apply for these type of jobs today. You can type any country you want into the location box in usajobs.gov to find available international jobs. Once you click search, you can then save this filter for later use. This makes it incredibly easy to target one or two countries and then be updated every day or every week as new jobs become available. Now, I ran a search on usajobs.gov this morning, and this is what I found. First, let's take a look at Europe. And one of the great things about living and working in Europe is the price of train and plane tickets. You can go all over the place for a relatively low cost. You can go from Rome, to Madrid and it'll cost under $100 for a plane ticket. Traveling the same distance in the United States will cost three or four times that amount. If you don't believe me, check it out. Okay, so in Germany, there were over 350 jobs available. These jobs were available with agencies like the Department of State, the Department of Transportation, the Department of Homeland Security, Health and Human Services, and the Department of Defense. Now, when it comes to the Department of State, you will find the Department of State in almost every country that you look for. And in order to get into one of these type of jobs, it is a long process. Usually you need a top secret clearance and you could expect probably about 12 months or more just trying to get your foot in the door to work for the Department of State. Also, the Department of Defense has jobs in and around military bases. And if you don't know it, we have over 100 military bases all over the world. Let's take a quick look at one of these job announcements. Here we have a program analyst, a GS-12 position in Simbach, Germany. The salary range is between 68,000 and 88,000 a year. And the specialized experience that you would need to have is experience compiling and analyzing data from an MTF. So whether you know it or not, a lot of people watching me right now, you have analytical experience. If you've looked at a document, at numbers and then interpret it in such a way and then explain it to somebody, that's pretty much analyzing. Okay, so next let's take a look at Italy. We can see here that there are over a hundred government jobs in Italy right now. From an operations watch officer in the Department of Army to a GS-11 program analyst, a substitute teacher, or even a hotel desk clerk. All of these opportunities in Italy, if you're willing and have a desire to work and live in that country. Next, let's look at the United Kingdom. And we can see that there are over 70 jobs available today. And we have such departments as the Department of State, the Department of Homeland Security, and the Department of Defense. Jobs here are from a school support assistant, an automotive worker helper, and a budget analyst, which is a GS-9 position in the Department of Air Force. All right, so let's leave Europe for a bit and take a look at a different continent. Let's look at Asia. Japan currently has over 250 jobs. This includes a cashier, a cook, a human resource specialist, which is a GS-11, that will come in with a salary of 56 to 74,000 a year. And the experience includes job analysis, reviewing applicant qualifications, and researching staffing regulations. Next is South Korea, that has over 100 jobs right now. Jobs such as a clerk, a store associate, or an air traffic controller. And in the Philippines, there are over 32 jobs available right now. Moving away from Asia, let's go to Central America. Panama has over 80 jobs to include a director of training, an engineer, and a program specialist. You can also find jobs in Costa Rica, Guatemala, and Belize. But these are usually only with the Department of State and the Peace Corps. In addition to Central America, there are also many positions in South America and in Africa. In fact, the only continent on this planet that does not have U.S. federal government jobs is Antarctica. Now, the top jobs for U.S. federal employees include several countries that I haven't listed yet, such as Spain, Kuwait, Belgium, and Saudi Arabia. Surprisingly, our federal government has employees in over 150 countries around the world. I don't think most people realize the international possibilities and opportunities that are out there until they start researching it for themselves. Okay, so if you wanna start applying for these international opportunities, you have to understand you're going to need a passport. And the government is more than likely going to fund your travel expenses from the United States to that country. 
There are also transportation agreements that you will have to agree to, which are basically agreements from one to three years stating that you will stay in that country working in that capacity for that length of time. Also, you can take your family to the majority of these positions. If you have kids around a military base, you'll be eligible to put them into the schools or to the youth centers so that they can still receive an English education. Healthcare can be a mixed bag. Sometimes you can rely upon the base and other times you're going to have to rely on that local economy. But the good news is health insurance is usually a lot cheaper overseas. And depending on the job, a relocation or a recruitment incentive can be added, which is additional money on top of the moving expenses. Employees will normally receive LQA, which stands for Living Quarters Allowance. This will vary on if you're bringing a family or if you're going to be single while you're abroad. And you can find out exactly how much you'll be entitled to by going to the website of Department of State. I'll leave a link in the description below. Now, as you're applying for these international opportunities, just like any other government job, you will find the interviews being both in-person or sometimes you will do a virtual interview. And if you wanna know the difference between an in-person interview and a virtual interview, then check out this video next. If you would like to see more of these type of videos, please click like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.